In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the future direction of house prices. Now, if you find this useful, hit that like button, but also subscribe to the channel because I regularly update these videos on house prices. Now, the first thing to point out, I will be going through an article on the Money to the Masses website, which you can find via the link in the notes of this video. So make sure you bookmark that because we regularly update that article on the site. If you find it useful, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to jump straight across to that article that I've mentioned and it's titled What is going to happen to UK house prices? Now, of course, house prices do vary by region. It depends on supply and demand and what's going on in the economy and also on the mortgage rates out there and the Bank of England base rate. But while I can't tell you what's going to happen to house prices in the UK with any great accuracy, I don't have a crystal ball, what we can do is look at the house price indices that are published regularly that cover the various different ways that house price movements are measured and then look at the underlying trend that's going on there and then make a judgment from that point. So if you go to this article, slow the video down, pause it as I go through it, but like I say, bookmark the article yourself and you can read it in your own time. If we scroll down, then what I do is I go through different house price indices. And the first one I'm going to look at is the UK house price index. Now, this is the most accurate index that's out there. This index is, of course, updated regularly. The only thing about it, it is the most accurate because it's based on HM Land registry data. There is a lag. So you can see on the table that the last piece of data we have is relating to June 2023. And at that point, it shows that there was a monthly change of 0.7% in house prices and also an annual change of 1.7%. So if we move on from that and we look at the nationwide house price index, I'd argue that this is probably the most well-known. You see a lot of news headlines written around this particular index. And this is calculated based on nationwide own mortgage approval data. So it's collated in a very different way. Now, if you look at the table, what you can see, there's a monthly change in August of 0.8%, so minus 0.8%, which means it's an annual change in house prices of minus 5.3%. The key thing is, is to look at the data from April through to August in that table, and you can see there's an accelerating trend of falling house prices. If we move on to the Halifax house price index now this is calculated from its own database of 300,000 roughly mortgage approvals this is showing a similar pattern so the latest data is August 2023 you can see there was a monthly change in house prices of minus 1.9 percent with an annual change that equates to minus 4.6 percent and you can see the average house price based on their data in that table but again you're seeing from March all the way through to August an acceleration in that decline in house prices. If we move on to the right move house price index, this is slightly different to the others because it's based on the asking prices on the right move portal. So it's not based on sales or mortgage approvals, it's based on asking prices. So again, you can see there is that trend of a decline in the asking prices. So if we use this as an indicator of house price movements, then you can see that we're seeing signs in this index that the annual change is starting to turn negative, which means that house prices are starting to fall. And that is to be expected somewhat because of the rise in interest rates that we've seen. The Bank of England has been raising the base rate the mortgage rates out there have been going up and that has a material impact on people's ability to borrow and that has a negative impact on house prices. You can read in the article how we saw a similar pattern back in the 1990s, but I'm not going to dwell on that on the, at the moment. One thing I would say, if you really want to know what your house is worth, you can find data on property portals like Rightmove and Zoopla that can give you estimates. But of course, you can ask local estate agents to come around and do a valuation on your property. At least get three, I would argue, so you can take an average of what they say. But bear in mind that there will be a variation and agents will likely, in some instances, talk up the price of your house to try and get it on with them if you are going to sell your property. So if you found that useful, do hit that like button, ask any questions in the comment, but also subscribe to our channel. Oh.